Hello and welcome again to Expound on the Bible. I'm your host, Nathaniel Morell. In this study, I would like to discuss, are there many paths to God? And is there only one way to be saved? As we look around in Christianity, we, we are seeing many people repeat the, the fact. Uh, take Oprah Winfrey, for example, on her show. Um, she went and stated that there are multiple paths that lead to God. Um, a lot of uh, prosperity preachers are preaching that uh, 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 that God has different paths for each and every one of us. But as long as we do good, as long as we continue to 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 praise God, that God will be with us, and they will all lead to the same place. We're seeing that uh, uh, being preached, being said many times over and over again, and people are believing this teaching. Oh, you have your path. I have my way. You have your path path and we'll all lead to the same to the same place we'll all get to heaven in our own separate way is that what the bible teaches as as we said before in a couple videos before uh, uh we need to use the bible as our fact checker so let's do some fact checking here according to the scriptures are there many paths to god is Jesus the only way to our salvation? And the Bible is clear on this. Let's go to the book of John. John chapter 6. John chapter, I'm sorry, John chapter 14. And we're going to look at verse 6. John chapter 14, verse 6. Are there many paths to God? And is there only one way to be saved? Because we see people saying there's multiple ways you could be saved. You don't have to follow the same path. There's truth in all religions, and they use that as, they use that rhetoric and use it as to say that this gospel is not the same for everyone. Oh, that your your standard is different, our standards are different. But don't worry. All we need to do is just say that Christ is God. All we gotta do is follow Him and acknowledge what He did for us at the cross, like this once saved, always saved, and God will take us through different paths, and we'll all meet in the same place. We some people are even saying we don't need Christ to be saved. We can do it on our own merit. Like if it's a righteousness by works and not righteousness by faith, which is what the Bible teaches. Let's go to John chapter 14 and verse 6. Christ says, Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So Christ is telling us point blank. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. You cannot go to heaven. You cannot be saved. You cannot go to the Father except you go through Christ. Christ is telling us point blank. Any other teaching that says that we can bypass Christ, any other teaching that says there's a different way, there's a different path, is wrong. Because we, the Bible says we have to go through Christ. Why do we have to go through Christ? Why is Christ the only way? Let's go to the book of Acts. Let's jump to the book of Acts. Acts chapter 4. Let's read this real quick. Acts chapter 4, verse 10 through 12. Here Peter is preaching a sermon. Peter is saying in Acts 4, verse 10 through 12, Peter is saying, Be it known unto you all, and unto all people of Israel, that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him does this man stand before you whole. Peter just finished healing somebody. He says this, uh, uh, verse, verse 12, verse 12, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. So here Peter is saying again, by Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom God raised from the dead, who was crucified for, he was crucified for the uh, forgiveness of sins. The Christ, the Lamb of God, slain for the sins and, and the people of the world. To give us salvation, to give us grace. We sin. We seek forgiveness. Christ gives it to us because He died for us. He took the death penalty. The Bible says, Romans chapter 6, verse 23, the wages of sin is death. So someone has to pay the death penalty price for our sins. Christ said, I will do it. My blood is sufficient. 
and he came and died on the cross for our sins. He is the only one. Christ is the only one who came and died on the cross to save us. So he is the only one. He is the only name, as Peter said, there is none other name given to mankind. There is none other name given to men that we must be saved. Only Jesus Christ. He is the only name given to us to be saved. No man can get that title because no man died for us. Only Christ did. Christ died on the cross for our sins and He is the only one who can save us from our sins. Let's go to 1 Timothy. Let's go to 1 Timothy. 1 Timothy chapter 2. 1 Timothy chapter 2 and let's read verse 5. 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 5 Paul says, For there is one God and one mediator between God and man and that man is Christ Jesus. Christ is our mediator. You see, this is what happens. The Father, King of the universe, Christ, also King of the universe. Christ and the Father are one, Father and Son. Now, this is what's going on. We sin. We are guilty under God's law. We are guilty of death. The Father pronounces the death penalty on us, but Christ says, hold on, Christ is acting as our lawyer in the courtroom. The Father is the judge, and the judge finds us guilty of breaking the law, and as the judge gives us the death penalty, the sentence of death, in front of the jury, in front of the people, the advocate, the lawyer, the mediator, Christ himself says, hold on, I died on the cross to save them. They are repenting of their sins. 1 John 1, 9, if we confess our sins... He, Christ, is just and faithful to forgive us of our sins. So, Christ shows His blood for us to the Father, and the Father says, well done. The Father says, this is sufficient. That's why, that's why Christ says, my grace is sufficient for you. And the Father looks at the blood of Christ, and He understands that Christ died on the cross to forgive us of our sins, but we first have to confess it, and therefore that's how the Father wipes away our offenses. And Christ goes to the heavenly sanctuary, goes and makes an atonement for us, just like the earthly sanctuary, the priest used to make an atonement for the people's sins, so does Christ make an atonement for our sins, and our sins are washed away. Christ says, I remember your sins no more. Why? Because He died on the cross and His blood was sufficient for us. The, our sins are washed away by the blood of the Lamb. So here is another example. The Bible, Paul is saying the only person, Peter says the only person who can save us is Christ. Paul saying the only person who can save us, that mediator, that lawyer, to save you from the death penalty is Christ. Christ Himself says, no man can come to the Father, no man can come to heaven, no man can be saved but by me. Let's go to Matthew, Matthew chapter 1, Matthew chapter 1, one of my favorite uh, uh, verses in the Bible. Matthew chapter 1 and verse 21, Matthew 1 verse 21, and here the angel is talking to Mary and, tell, and says, And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Christ will save his people from their sins. I like how it says, from their sins, not in their sins. In our sins, we can go to Christ. In our sins, Christ will accept us. But in our sins, if we don't change, Christ cannot save us and take us to heaven. We have to be convicted of our sins. We have to know that whatever we did is, is breaking God's law. We have to repent of those sins like, like, like Nineveh did. They repented of their evil deeds and therefore God gave them grace and let them live. We repent of our sins and like I said again, God is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and He saves us from our sins from the death penalty that we deserve for breaking God's law. And who ends up getting that death penalty? Christ takes the death penalty upon Himself because He died on the cross. That's why Paul says that Christ dies and gets crucified daily. And guess what? Just like the earthly sanctuary, just like the earthly priest at the Day of Atonement, the priest will get all those sins from the people 
and place it upon the scapegoat, and the scapegoat will go out to the desert to die, meaning that those sins are forgotten, just how Christ takes all our sins, because He died on the cross for our sins. Christ takes upon Himself, and in the day of judgment, He will place all those sins upon the devil and Satan, who has caused us to, to commit those sins, and that's when hellfire begins, and He will burn and suffer more than any other person for those sins that He has caused everyone in this world to commit. Satan will be that scapegoat. So Christ came to save us from our sins. He is the only one who can do so. Let's go to John. John chapter 3. This is a familiar text to all of us. John chapter 3. John chapter 3 and verse 16 through 17. It says, we know this, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through Him might be saved. So the world through Christ could be saved. It's only in Christ, like that song, in Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light. Christ is the only way, He's the only one, He's the only path whereby we could be saved. So for someone saying there's multiple paths to God, there's more than one way to God, you, you don't need Christ to get to God, that's a lie fact-checked by from the Bible. The Bible says Christ alone, Christ only, He is the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh to the Father but by Him. So that is what I wanted to bring out to you all because I've noticed a lot of people a lot of preachers, a lot of, a lot of celebrities are coming out with this theory that there's more than one path to God and a lot of people are falling for it. And, 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 and that is a damnable heresy from Satan. To try to earn your way to heaven without the help of Christ, that's impossible. Christ died for us. He's the only one that cares for us. He wants to save us from our sins. The devil does not care for us. Christ is the only one that wants to give us eternal life, but we have to accept Him. we got to follow His laws. we got to read His Word so we can be like Him and be perfect so we could be saved. So thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please press like. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We're also on Facebook at Expounding the Bible. Until then, this is your host, Nathaniel Merle saying, have a blessed day.